whenever the festival of Diwali is nearing, there is one question which always pops up is the pollution caused by bursting of crackers. So, is there any alternative to it? Hello and welcome to the In Focus series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha Singh and in today's video, we will be discussing about green crackers, an alternative to the traditional crackers. So, let us first understand the timeline of the video, what all we will be seeing. First, we will be looking at the news. Then what are green crackers and how are they different from traditional crackers? Then what are the types of green crackers? Toxic metals that traditional crackers release like sulfur, aluminium, magnesium and then the damage and harm these chemicals do to us. Then the bursting green crackers, what can be the guidelines to it? In the end, a prelims MCQ and a mains practice question. This topic is of relevance from general studies paper 3 environmental pollution and degradation. See, from exam perspective, it is important to know about what are green crackers and very, very important is to know about the types of green crackers, the three types of green crackers and the chemicals and the colors associated with them. So, let us get started and see the news and this news has been taken from the Indian Express and it says, what are green crackers and how do we identify them? So, the central idea of the news is the green crackers. So, what is it keeping them in news is what as we all know that Diwali is nearing and every single time the topic of pollution and crackers come to the news because the Delhi NCR region and all the cities which are which have very bad pollution levels are, suffer a lot during the Diwali weekend and during the Diwali times from pollution and it becomes really difficult for the residents of those places to breathe properly and safely. So, recently Chandigarh has allowed the use of green crackers and these green crackers we will be discussing in detail that what are these green crackers. First, you should be able to know that who has developed these green crackers. So, it is the CSIR which is responsible for the development of the green crackers and CSIR is Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, very important prelims and mains both. Then the different types of green crackers can be in the form of flower pots, pencils, fireworks, maroons, bombs and chakkar. So, important is it is developed by CSIR. Now, let us talk about what are green crackers and how are they different from traditional crackers. See, first you should be able to know and understand that what are green crackers. See, it is not that green crackers does not cause pollution. They do. Green crackers also cause pollution. So, if the statement comes that green crackers does not cause pollution, then it becomes wrong because they are also responsible for causing pollution. See, both green crackers and traditional crackers cause pollution and it is people should refrain from using both green and traditional crackers. See, it is just that these green crackers cause 30% less air pollution as compared to the traditional crackers and that is why they are considered fine because they cause 30% less air pollution as compared to the traditional crackers and green crackers reduce emissions and also absorb dust and they also do not contain hazardous elements like barium nitrate and there is also reduction in sound in green crackers as compared to the traditional crackers. So, why are they considered better than the traditional crackers, the green crackers? Because they are causing 30 percent less pollution, they are causing less sound and they also does not contain hazardous elements like barium nitrate and they are also causing reduced emissions. So, it is not that the green crackers are not causing pollution, it is also causing pollution but it is causing less pollution. Then recently the NGT that is the National Green Tribunal, it has said that green crackers are permitted to only, green crackers are permitted only in cities and towns where air quality is moderate or poor. So, this is this becomes an important point because the word only is there. 
it is only in cities and towns where air quality is moderate or poor so you can take the example of delhi ncr delhi ncr at the time of diwali, diwali suffers from very poor air quality and that is the reason that that green crackers are allowed there and the sale of traditional crackers are not allowed now let us talk about the types of green crackers most important topic of this video the types of green crackers so there are three types of green cracker first is swas that is s w a s second is star s t a r and third is safal s a f a l so first let us look at swas that is safe water releaser so if you will look at the word you will be able to understand that what does s w a s or swas does that is safe water releaser it means water is getting released when the cracker is bursting so the name itself is telling a lot many things about this because it is safe water releaser it means safe water is getting released so swas consists of see discharge water vapor into the atmosphere which will dampen the discharged dust so whenever the swas cracker is getting burst so what will it do it will release water droplets from it so that the dust which is so the dust which is around it will get dampen and it does not comprise potassium nitrate and sulfur so this is also important and the particulate dust released will reduce approximately by 30% this was about swas now let us talk about star and star is safe thermite cracker what does it do or what does it consist of is it does not comprise potassium nitrate and sulfur also same as swas and then it also reduced sound intensity so the sound intensity is also less and it emits reduced particulate matter so the particulate matter which is getting out of it is also reduced as compared to the traditional crackers so this was about star now let us talk about safal that is safe minimal aluminium in this also the name is telling that aluminium will be minimum so that is safal and in this also there is reduction in sound and as the name suggest minimum usage of aluminium is there and magnesium is used instead of it so this was about swas star and safal see from this aspect maximum number of questions can be asked or a one liner can also be asked like for example that recently in news the terms swas safal and star is related to what then a b c d the examiner can give you four different uh, four different options then you have to answer then uh, these this is the most probable topic from this from this video that from where the questions can be asked so it becomes all the more important to for you to know about the types of crackers so this was about the type of green crackers now let us lo look at that the toxic metals that traditional crackers release so many a times we have seen that in uh, state pcs exams these kind of questions arise that yellow color is responsible for what or white color is responsible for what so from factual point of view you need to know this then these toxic metals are extremely harmful for health and then the white color is from aluminum magnesium and titanium then orange color carbon or iron yellow sodium compounds blue and red this red color has been asked many a times so you need to remember this so blue is coming from copper while red is coming from strontium i have also seen on personal note that this red color has been asked a lot of times then green agent is from barium monochloride salt or barium nitrate or barium chlorate so you need to see that which compound is responsible for which color because this is getting asked in the exam so this also this is also important from exam perspective and especially the red color that is strontium now let us talk about the damage and harm that these chemicals do to humans so 
lead which is present in the crackers is responsible for impacting the nervous system then comes the copper it triggers respiratory tract irritation then becomes sodium skin issues magnesium mental fume fever then cadmium it causes anemia and also damages the kidney then nitrate is the most harmful that causes mental impairment so you need to remember about nitrate also and nitrite is irritation in mucous membrane eyes and skin see whenever you are writing about the mains answer writing then this point becomes important to write about the damage and harm that these chemicals are causing to human beings then most vulnerable population from these crackers are infants because this because the uh, breathing problem that has been seen in infants and especially the senior citizen becomes a cause of concern for people so the most vulnerable population becomes infants children pregnant women and elderly and also people with underlying medical conditions so these are the people who face the most problem when the pollution level and during the weekend of diwali when crackers are, were being burst so the pollution level increases even more and it takes a lot of time for that pollution to move away so these are the people that infants children pregnant women elderly and people with underlying medical conditions so they suffer a lot because the breathing problems the respiratory problems increases then no one remains untouched from the harm these chemicals cause even though everyone suffers but these are the people that i have told you they suffer the most or they are the most vulnerable section now let us talk about bursting green crackers that from where you should buy it or what all precautions you should take then you you should all only buy green crackers from a licensed shop and not from any street vendor and when you are bursting the crackers few of the guidelines that the uh, that the government or the ministry always issues consist of that always prefer using a long candle whenever you are lighting the crackers or keep your elbow joint straight whenever you are trying to lit the crackers because when you when you will do the elbow when you will keep the elbow joint straight it increases the distance between the cracker and the body and the distance between the body and the cracker the uh, the elbow joint keeping the elbow joint straight it increases then try to burst the crackers at open spaces do not try to burst crackers where there are lot of people or at crowded places or inside your home because many a times we have seen that even a small carelessness can lead to hazardous results so these are few of the precautions that you need to take now in the end let us look at the prelims mcq any people need to tell me the answer in the comment section and the question is that consider the following pairs so these are the three pairs that is swas that is safe water releaser star safe minimal aluminum and suffol safe thermite crackers so which of the pairs given above are correctly matched and the codes are only one pair only two pair only three pair and none of the above and the last slide consists of the mains practice question and it is a 10 marker question and it says what are green crackers so this is the first aspect that what are green crackers second is what are the types of green crackers this is the second aspect third is what are the advantages of the new crackers over traditional crackers advantages and this is the third aspect so this question becomes a bit lengthy so you need to keep in mind your word limit so this becomes a challenge that when the question is lengthy and there is a limitation of word limit that how you will manage to write a good answer so first first write about the, what are green crackers give a very very small introduction regarding it then directly jump to the type of green crackers because there are three ty types of green crackers and write in point format do not go in para format in this because that will take a lot of space then write about the advantages try to write advantages also in pointers see i'll tell you something when the question is lengthy and there are many parts in this then try to write in points because writing in points will make things 
easy and you will be write write you and you will be able to write in short so that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading and keep writing